guys and gals, this is something guy 912 Lancey Pantsy, Lance Hammond, whatever you want to call me, fucking penis breath. I don't know. Anyhow, so if you are familiar with Adosa Buckley, and if you're not familiar with Adosa Buckley, um, Buckley, Adam Buckley is a YouTube commentator about some parts pop culture, some parts music. He is a shit, I, I forget. I think he's a music, or, er, well, I think he like a radio host or something like that. I, I'm not sure, but the main gist of it is, is that he is pretty much subjected to most of the mainstream music. But occasionally he talks about other things. And one particular subject, he talked about nostalgia. Now, I'm not here to bash upon his points. I'm actually supposed, I'm actually here to um, reinvigorate them. He went on towards uh, attacking this guy who made 58 extremely disappointing facts about the class of 2018. Because everybody knows that the, the thing that sh we should be concerned about in the next four years is the class of 2018 just like I should be disappointed about the class of now you know <laughs> so he kind of went you know by side by side on each uh, fact but I'm here to go through every single last one of them and tell you why they're just complete bullshit now take it from me the, the guy who wrote this is only two years older than me so him and I are kind of on the same spectrum of the, this so-called nostalgia that he's just trying to hold on to. <sighs> well, let's start with the statement. In a few short weeks, kids all over the country will be graduating high school as the class of 2014. Let's take a look at the incoming freshman class, the class of 2018. Here's how their experience will be different than yours. Oh. Ooh. First off, they were born in 2000 or 2001, and they're graduating in 2018. They're the class of 2018. Okay. Um, let me first state that it's completely obvious. I mean, what the fuck? Does this, does it, does it come as a surprise to this guy that people could dare to be born after 2000 or 2001? Does it really come as a surprise to him now? <laughs> wow. I, I don't know. It's just like... It's like stating the obvious already. So it's already started to be pretty stupid. Okay, number two. They've never lived in a world with monthly texting limits. Mmm... I still... I had to deal with using a trap phone. Um... And it wasn't too long ago. It was actually like a few years ago. So, yeah. There's just no way this is even fucking true. The lyric, shake it like a Polaroid picture, has no meaning to them. Hey, guess what? It has no meaning to me either. You know how old a fucking Polaroid camera is? I think it's like... Older than you, I know that for fucking sure. I think that shit was made in the 70s. You really think that, like, during the 90s, people were using Polaroid pictures? They were using, like, fucking Kodiaks um, with film, which is a little bit better, but not, you know, a stretch of the great. Anyhow, moving on. Four. They never knew a Justinese child with four members. They probably don't know Justinese child at all. Hey! Funny, 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 ironic. I also don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Who the fuck is Destiny's Child? I've never heard of that. You know, it's not just, you know, old things become completely irrelevant to people. It's just some people like things more than others. Like, I could talk to somebody about Mystery Science Theater 3000. They won't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. You probably don't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about, buddy. So, yeah, it's not just about things that age it's not just age that becomes irrelevant it's just people having different mediums that they like you know it's not just you know age becomes something of age does not you know age well or what or whatnot but anyway but the moral razor is a museum artifact 
Well, I mean, of course it's going to be a museum artifact. It's a... I mean, it's the step toward... It's the first step towards the, you know, the mainstream uh, cell phone use. I mean, it was the first step instead of using blocky-ass cellular phones. They were digital now, and they were smaller and handheld. You could fit them in your pocket. I mean, it's not like it's something of an ancient artifact. It's just... I mean, you're probably looking, you're probably at the, like, the Museum of Technology or something like that. And also, what the fuck does this have to do with the class of 2018? Like, what does this have to do? Like, are you saying that the kids aren't going to be aware that the Moral Razor, you know, existed? Because, you know, most people still use flip phones. I mean, I do. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is ancient shit. Well, anyway, that's ancient fucking technology. <laughs> but I still use it because, you know, I enjoy it. It's fine for the most part. I mean, I do need to get a new phone and whatnot. You know, with a little bit more options. But, yeah. I mean, you know, regardless, it does... It's not... It doesn't have anything to do with the class of 2018. And has anyone realized that 58 Reason just seems like he just pulled it right out of a hat? It's not like... He thought of 10 or 15 or 20. Star Wars has never been a trilogy. What? Um, let's see. The first, the prequel movies were made in 1999, I think. 2002 and 2004, respectively. These kids were born in 2001. Now, you could say, oh, well, they wouldn't have known. They would have only been three years old when the third movie came out. But here's the thing. They were still making franchises. There was still, like, the whole Clone Wars miniseries that they would have watched and enjoyed. I mean, you know, there's plenty of kids who can still enjoy the fucking movies. And they didn't have to be born around that fucking year. So, yeah. Bullshit. Seven. Eminem. Could without a doubt be their dad. Eminem is like 35, 6 years old or something like that. I mean, he's not really that old. He couldn't. I mean, he could. You know what? He could have a father when he was like 20 or so. He could have had a father when he was in the 90s. I mean, what do you imply? That he has to be a certain age that he could be a, a father or whatnot? I mean, I could say that, you know, he could be your dad if you wanted to. <laughs> so, bullshit. Eight. Or, you know, one of the dudes from Hanson could be their dad. Okay. One of the dudes, Hanson was like in the fucking 70s. They could be your fucking granddad for a good chance. Assuming they're like... Well, assuming... They started right as they were like 18, and they've been doing it since like the stretch of 1970, so they'd be like 62 or something. So, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Nine. If you say you sound like a broken record, chances are they won't understand you. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. I can still tell little fucking youngsters that they sound like a broken record, and they know exactly what I'm talking about. They, it's not like figurative language like okay it's figurative language you don't have to understand what a broken record means it's just the implication they just sound like they're repeating their fucking selves like you fucking sound like I can say you sound like a broken record if you didn't know what a broken record was you'd still under fucking stand you would not under fucking stand you would still understand what, I, what you're talking about what I'm you know implying that you just keep fucking repeating yourself, you know? I mean, why, what, you want people, you think these kids are saying, you sound like a broken iPod shuffle. Yeah, not gonna fucking work. <laughs> so, 10, the sound has no meaning. I'm not gonna play the video, but it is essentially the dial-up sound. So, another thing I want to question is, is inconvenience really something to get nostalgic about? Is it that annoying, loud-ass sound trying to start up this old-ass, ancient computer? Something really to behold, to keep preserved? 
when we got computers that can turn on almost instantly and run games that are leaps and bounds ahead. I mean, come on. Come on, guy. <sighs> 11. They've been alive for seven, uh, 47 albums of Now That's What I Call Music. Doesn't matter because Now That's What I Call Music is not really actually an album. It's actually a compilation of singles that got popular in this year and that year or I don't know if they do it by year, but I think they, yeah, I think they might do it by season. Uh, um, so yeah, and not to mention it's kind of like a hype uh, machine sort of thing. It's like, yay, this is what I call music, but it's only music because it's popular and people play it a shit ton. It's not that it's any good or has any depth or whatnot. It's just it's being played, so that's what I call music. <sighs> Man, I'm only on number 11. Number 12. The Backstreet Boys and NSYNC have been bands longer than they've been alive. I can't, you know, stress how absolutely bullshit this is because how could you possibly be a band even before you were alive? It, like, what? They, what? Were they, like, you know, making like music in their fucking embryos or while they were like sperm or whatnot. It was, I don't know. Uh, 13. And there's no way they understand this reference. And it's a calendar of April 2012 with a small little meme uh, clip of, I think, Justin Timberlake. And he says, It's gonna be me. And the joke is, is that's that song. It's gonna be me, but it, he says me in such a weird way. It sounds like May. But, I mean, I think, I think these young kids are still gonna get the reference. I mean, it's kind of hard for even me to understand what you're fucking talking about. I mean, is this guy like 23 or is he 43? I don't know. <sighs> okay, number 14. They don't understand where the shutter scan on your phone makes when it takes a picture comes from. There are still plenty of cameras that still have a shutter sound. It's a digital shutter sound because people need to know when the shutter sound comes around. <laughs> shutter sound comes around. But anyhow, like, if the shutter sound was quiet, it'd be hard for you to know when exactly the flash would come in. It's important to have a sound. And... Not to mention that most people aren't taking uh, pictures from their phone. They usually, you know, camera. <laughs> anyway, number 15. They have always had to accept Crocs as a reality. Well, they've always had to accept Crocs as a reality around your fucking time, so what makes it any worse for them? I mean, it's not like they have to fucking wear Crocs. They can wear Nikes, they can wear Adidas. It doesn't fucking matter. It's there, you don't have to deal with it. I mean, unless they're living in a time when the president has ordered that everyone wear Crocs, then yeah, your point would be a little bit more valid. But, no. <sighs> they never experience the crippling fear that comes with picking the top eight. Um, okay. MySpace was popular at the time. It was around, like, 2004, 2005, and 2006. But, um... Facebook around 2007 was taking over and you know people are going to leap onto that because it's more popular so I don't know exactly why it would be worse for people who have to deal with picking a top eight I mean what is it rar girl it's like so many fucking friends it seems almost impossible 29 million fucking friends I don't think that's possible but um Anyway, yeah, it's it doesn't really matter because MySpace isn't popular anymore. And it still won't be, even if it's still around. Anyhow, moving on, 17. They've never had the crushing realization that their disposable camera pictures didn't come out well. Well, they don't because they have newer cameras. So, what, you think that people need to be more inconvenienced just to satisfy your own need of nostalgia? Well then, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. 
18. They live in a world where they can hear Blink-182 in a classic rock station. Well, they could probably hear fucking uh, Radiohead and uh, Radiohead and I guess Nirvana in a way. Maybe uh, Alice in Chains. I mean, yeah. <sighs> anyway, 19. This building has no meaning to them. It's this picture of a building, and then there's this, like, frog that says, This is where the old Nickelodeon Studios used to be. Well, you know what? I didn't even know where the fucking old Nickelodeon Studios was. I didn't even know they used to have an old studio. It does not matter to me. I mean, I don't think little kids are going to give a shit about where the studio of the Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon place was. I think they just give it would more care about the quality of the TV show so does not matter 20 the song waterfalls by TLC is older than they are ooh yes another you know representation of things have different ages and other things have different ages <sighs> okay 20 so is the song all star by smash mouth for better or worse well you know what people still play all star by smash mouth so, you know, it's still going to be relevant to some of these kids. I mean, it's kind of one of those songs that just has not, you know, lost its um, edge or age. 22, they live in a post-Cisco world. I don't even fucking understand the point of this. I mean, who the fuck is Cisco, for one thing? And two, like, what is this? Like, like after Cisco made his fucking music, then it was like... Everything changed after that. It's like the, 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 the society went down after Cisco made that bong song. Ooh, ooh. It's like it's like you could put post apocalyptic and it would have the same amount of fucking meaning. <sighs> Twenty three. They were born the same year the PlayStation Two and Game Boy Advance came out. Wow! What a fucking shocker! And you know what? I bet those little kids are still playing PS Twos and Game Boy Advances, huh? Hmm. 24. They're the class of 2018. Oh, my God. Okay. You already made your first point about that. You've already stated the obvious. Do you really need to state the obvious fucking twice? <laughs> oh, okay. 25. And some of them were born the same year the first Apple store was open. Woo! So obvious. Oh, woo! Stating the obvious. Oh, things age. How could that possibly happen? <sighs> you can say with 100% confidence that you have MP3s older than they are. Actually, no, I can't. Because if they were born after 2000, 2001, MP3s weren't gained into the mainstream until like 2003 or 2004. So, nope, I cannot say that with 100% confidence. One of those MP3s could be baby one more time okay once again one of those songs that just still is stuck in the mindset of me and other kids that you're trying to bash on they probably will recognize what you're talking about with baby one more time 28 they'll never know the lie that was anti-skip technology on a cd player well of course they won't because they're using fucking ipods why are you still using a fucking cd player and you're like, wow, all these kids with these privileged iPods, they don't know what they're missing with these fucking CD players. This storefront doesn't remind them of anything. Bull fucking shit. And it's a picture of the Blockbuster that's whiteboarded out. Blockbuster just fucking went down a year ago. These kids are like... 14 now they would have known about the blockbuster before then i mean when they were nine years old i was like daddy daddy let's go to blockbuster we can get that movie you know fucking christ ah 30 none of these names mean anything to them ja rule don't know ashanti no ryan cabrera no ashley simpson eh. mr mccarthy eh. fern troyer what wilmer valderrama yeah i know him chad michael murray who kevin further line no, Mr. Barton, I don't know. The Dell dude, I don't know. Tom Green, I think that's the guy who sucked on a cow's udder. 
Uh, Nick Galachi, I don't know. Beans, I don't know. Carson Daly, I don't know. Moby, he's actually still relevant. Terry Shavo, I don't know. And William Hunt. So, like, 75% of all those people I just listed, I don't know either. So, who, how does he know? Like I said, it's not just, you know, once things get older, they just become irrelevant. It's just, you know, people have different mindsets, attention spans to other things and interests. <sighs> 31. They've never lived in a world with Squeezits, Surge, Orbits, Magic Middles, Tan M&Ms, or these bad boys. <sighs> I don't know. I, I just don't have any words for that. Like, I mean, they could probably, if these kids really wanted to, they could try to find these. I mean, I think I could probably still find Wonder Balls around, but, you know, like, candy comes and goes, but there's some new ones. There's some really new candy that's really delicious, so you're probably missing out because you're still stuck with that idea that things need to stay in the past. They've always had GPS and have never had to look up directions and print them out. Well, you know what? I still go online and on MapQuest, you know, make directions and print them out because not everyone is financially capable of owning a fucking GPS for their car. And some people don't like to use it because it's not always fucking reliable. It might drift you off somewhere in the fucking middle of a desert or something. We were just trying to get the fucking Walgreens eight miles away. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> 33. Roll down your window has no meaning. Once again, fucking bullshit. Like I said before, people aren't financially capable of getting the same fucking privileges. Some people will get cars that have to roll down their windows. And it will still have fucking mini meaning. I mean, do you think these kids are so stupid that, you know, roll down your window will just come as a fucking blank space to them? Like, they're sitting in the car and they got this crank and whatnot and that doesn't mean anything to them? <sighs> Neither does. Don't touch that dial. <sighs> I think this is, once again, have to do with financial compensation. Some cars still don't have it. Some of these kids will be at an age where they'll have to buy old used cars and will have to deal with that shit. So, it still will have meaning to them. 35. They never had a late night AIM chat interrupted by someone yelling, get off the internet and need to use the phone. Um, yeah, because of Wi-Fi and Skype, you know? <laughs> so, like I said before... Should inconveniences be the standard that people should just have to deal with bullshit over and over again and not be a little bit more convenience? 36. They never had to untangle a phone cord, strain antenna for a TV reception, and they probably have no clue what's happening in this picture. Bullshit, bullshit, and ba 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 bullshit. Because there are still fucking. Some phones that still have fucking cords in other places. Financial compensation with the straight in antenna. And some kids may like to play the fucking Super Nintendo. So they know they have to blow into the fucking cassette. Okay? <sighs> 37. The WWE was never the WWF. Actually, I didn't know that either. So. And I'm only two years fucking younger than you, man. And a lot of these, I'm just like. What? 38. They can measure how old they are by saying they're about four Shrek movies old. Yeah, because everyone these days are telling people their age by Shrek movies. Like, how many Terminator movies old are you? Well, I guess I'm about three, you know, or four. And, you know, soon that's going to be fucking irrelevant because they're just going to keep getting older. You know, it's like, what the fuck? <sighs> Also, the first Shrek movie came out in 2002, second one 2003, third one 2007, and I think the fourth one was 2010, 2009, maybe 2011. Didn't really give a shit about the fourth one. They're nine, or by saying they're about the same age as this episode, and it's a clip of, it's a photo of SpongeBob, and it was in the early 1999. Well, you know. A lot of kids are still watching Spongebob, it's still relevant. I mean, they probably might, by chance, 
see one of these episodes. And like I said before, who the fuck in the world is going to say that I'm about as old as this SpongeBob episode here? You know, just forty. They have always been forced to accept the harsh reality of the Black Eyed Peas. Well, you know what? I had, and you had. So bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Forty-one. There, the class of 2018. You already said that twice before. So, it's not 58 extremely disappointing reasons. It's like 55 at this point. Wardrobe malfunction doesn't mean anything. Oh, it still fucking happens like in the fucking VMAs or whatnot. It still happens. Like, what? You think we're living in a, like, a future where wardrobe malfun malfunction doesn't happen? 33. Clagan is just some dude running for Congress. What? Um. Well, there's a uh, clip of an article that says Wednesday, February 5th, 2014. And what's funny, too, is that the subtext of it says that he was the star of American Idol Season 2. So, even if these kids aren't aware that he was part of American Idol, they'll know that he was at some point. So... Uh, 44, if you ask what brings the boys to the yard, they'd have an idea how to answer that question. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, whenever make someone makes that fucking reference to that particular song, you know, I always ask them the question. I just don't make the statement. I'm just like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You know, people are still saying that shit. Like I said, you know, age does not make things automatically irrelevant. There is a kind of preservation with some things. Polaroid cameras are not going to stay within the course. Classic fucking movies like Frankenstein will still be watched or fucking books like Dr. Seuss. I mean, what, what, how about if I say, well, you don't know what the fuck, you know, this picture is of the fucking Lorax. And you'd be like, no, it's fucking Dr. Seuss. Oh, how would you know? Unless, you know, I had to show you. It's like, you didn't have to show me. I already knew because, you know, fucking Dr. Seuss. People are still fucking reading Dr. Seuss. It doesn't have anything to do with it being old. It's just some people like things, other people don't. <sighs> 45. Paris Hilton was never popular. Hey, for once, he actually has a valid point. She was actually never popular. She was only a celebrity because she had a clip of her doing some pornographic shit. So, you know, for celebutante. 46. They were never forced to look at frosted tips everywhere they went. What? I'm just going to skip that one. I don't even know. 47. Leonardo DiCaprio has never been the guy in this picture. Um... I don't know. It's a clip of, I'm assuming, Leonardo in some other movie or whatnot. I'm going to skip that one, too. 30, 48. They have only been alive for three Harry Potter books. You know... Um, if... If I recall correctly, these books were actually made before 2000. Um, I may be wrong, but... Uh, J.K. Rowling was still making these books while the movies were being made. So, whether or not they were only alive for three Harry Potter books is irrelevant. Because the last fucking movie, last part of the movie to the book was like in 2012. So, people, you know, it's not going to be irrelevant to them. 49. Darren's dance groups holds no meaning. Doesn't hold any meaning to me, me, to me either. So what? Am I fucking irrelevant? <laughs> Fifty. Beanie Babies was never seen as a gold mine to them. Well, you got tech decks. There are just things that some people are going to collect, collect that they think is more popular. And there are still people who like Beanie Babies. I would go for some Beanie Babies. <sighs> they won. They never had the struggle of picking between Kazaa and LimeWire. I'm assuming those are like video streaming websites, which they don't have to anymore because they got YouTube. And in some cases, Twitch, if they're tired of YouTube's stupid-ass policies. 52. 
And chances are they have never burned a CD. Bullshit! Bullshit! iTunes! You can fucking burn a CD through iTunes! These fucking kids can still do that. They can rip the fucking CD. Not literally. And not literally burn the CD either. But they still can. They still have to do it through fucking iTunes. And they can still do it through iTunes. I mean, a lot of them just fucking buy the fucking music. But who wants to pay a dollar fucking fifty for one song? 53. The Spice Girls are just some middle-aged British women. Okay, I guess they are, you know, because I don't know who the fuck you're even talking about. So I guess they just are. A bunch of fucking middle-aged British women, you stupid fuck. 54. They never experienced the frustration of trying to record your favorite songs from the radio to a tape, only to have the DJ start talking and ruin everything. Pandora. Groove Shark. Uh, well, that's all. Well, even YouTube. You can use those three to fucking listen to them. Who the fuck records songs from a radio to a tape these days? Is that such a fucking problem to you that nobody does that anymore? That they don't have to subject themselves to that kind of fucking inconvenience? 55. They never heard the wise words of Mr. Feeney. I'm assuming... Uh, I'm assuming... This is from Saved by the Bell, but this is my only assumption because, you know, this motherfucker thinks he knows that, you know, everyone at his age would know all these things, even though I'm around his age and I don't know any of this shit. And if this is Saved by the Bell, this TV series is actually being played quite a lot on MTV 1 and 2, so, and I know a lot of these 14 year olds are probably going to be watching it, so... They'll probably have come across this at some point. Okay. 46. 56. Joseph Gordon Levitt was never this little dude. <sighs> and I would think it would be better if that stayed that way. You know, who wants to say, oh, well, Joseph. Joseph Gordon Levitt used to be this little guy right here playing fucking Barbie dolls and whatnot. 57. They're as old as Monsters Inc., Osmosis Jones, The Emperor's New Groove, Jimmy Neutron, and Spy Kids. <sighs> yeah, and so fucking what? What? I mean, are these really extremely disappointing facts? Okay, yeah, sure, they're fucking facts. Yeah, they're old as these fucking things are but you know most of this stuff is just so fucking like sensitive to just things that just happen to come with age you know I mean it's like whoa people age all oh, these kids are gonna be 14 oh and finally number fucking 58 after all this fucking bullshit what is this guy going to leave with let me guess Oh, well, I'll let you guess. Hmm, yep, you were right. He's just going to restate the same thing he already did three fucking times in a row. Oh, yeah, and they're the class of 2018, 2018, the damn future. Four fucking times he has to restate this throughout this list. It'll be cut down to 54. In fact, I could probably cut this fucking thing down to 10 for him because he keeps changing it up. It's like... One, this thing has no meaning to them. Two, this phrase would have no meaning to them. Three, they're about the same age as this, 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 or this. Four, they live in the post fucking thing. Five, restate the same thing again. Six, restate the same thing again. Seven, restate the same thing again. Eight, restate the same fucking thing again. Nine, they never heard this from this person or that person. Ten, they forgotten how to do this that was fucking inconvenient. And there, you got fucking ten. <laughs> God. I mean, that's pretty much how it down, dives down to, essentially. It's just those ten fucking things. So, that's it. That's my whole fucking reputation. I'm sorry that this video had to be so long, but I had to go through 58 stupid fucking facts about the class of 2018 most of them doesn't even have anything to do with the class of 18 2018 it just likes to pull connections of age so 
yeah. I hope you enjoyed my angry rantings and somewhat humorous, uh, you know, splits. So, adios. Or, you know, fucking peace the fuck out. You know. <laughs>